So Google has just released Jules. Jules is a coding agent just like Codex by OpenAI. But this coding agent is not something like bold.new or lovable.dev or cursor. This is different. So this actually works on background. This coding agent works more like Devon. So this is how it works. You connect your GitHub account with Jules. After that, you give it access to a certain repository. After that, you just give it a task, something like maybe changing a version of Next.js or maybe adding a new feature. And you just assign that task to Jules. After that, Jules will work on background and then it will like finish that task and let you know once the task is finished. So this tool is not like bold.new or lovable.dev or maybe something like cursor, but this tool is different. It works more like Devon. Devon is like $500 per month software engineer that can have access to your GitHub repository and you can assign tasks to Devon and it can work on background. But the good thing about Jules, it's absolutely free to start. There is no subscription fee. You can directly go to their website and start using it right away. So before you start exploring more about Jules, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on that like button as well. All right, so to start using Jules, just go to jules.google, J-U-L-E-S dot Google. After that, simply just click on try Jules and make sure that you have a GitHub account. If you don't have a GitHub account, just go to GitHub, create an account. And if you don't have created any repository, simply just create a repository inside GitHub. So once you click on try Jules, it will show you this screen. You can simply just click on this, both of these options, simply then click on continue. And that's it. Now it will ask you to connect your GitHub account. Once you have connected your GitHub account, it will ask you to choose a repository or give it access to all of your repository. I have skipped that part because I did not want to show you all of my recent repositories, but you can simply just click on this button add repository and from here you can just like add any of your repositories in here let's suppose if you want to give access to a certain repository or maybe change it to all of the repositories you can simply just go to your github account settings and from here you can simply just click on this application section and from here you can just like choose the repository just make sure that you have selected this google labs jewels and from here you can then uh, like change the repository selection maybe like give it access to all of the repositories or maybe only selected repositories so once your github account is connected and you have provided access to a certain repository after that this is how this ui will look like this is how their main dashboard actually looks like so from here from this drop down just choose your repository that you want to like make changes in i'm just going to like choose this one ai thumbnail checker and i'm just going to choose this repository and then there's only one branch i'm just like going to keep this master branch selected let's suppose if you want to like create a new branch and then ask you to like make changes in that new branch if you don't want to like change anything in your main branch so that too is a good approach so let's suppose once everything is selected now from here you can just like ask you to make changing please update my readme file and prop documentation about my project so let's start with something very simple so so let's start with something very simple this is my readme file currently of this repository and let's just see how it will update this readme file after that i'll simply click on this give me a plan and then once I have selected that, now it is loading. Jules is experiencing a high traffic. Task is queued and will start shortly. Okay, fine. Would you like to enable notifications and I will let you know when a plan is ready for your code to preview. Okay, fine. I'll click on this enable button and it will let me know as soon as it is ready to like start performing this task. But right now you can see the task is queued because there are a lot of people who are trying this tool because this is just like going viral on YouTube right now. So let's just wait for it to like start writing code. And right now you can see it has started writing code. It is right now going through my this repository. It is reading all of the different components and different code files. It is understanding this project and right now you can see it has created a plan so draft a new readme uh, section project overview after that draft a new readme section key features and then there is how it works technology used so it is actually creating a project plan so the first there will be project overview then there will be key features then there will be how it works then there is technologies used so then there is optional but recommended section which is project structure and then after that i can simply just click on this approving plan so now the plan is approved right now it is working on it it is going to draft a new readme.md section. So let's just wait for it. Let's just see. I, I just, I, I really want to see like how it works. I know the overall experience is kind of different than bold.new and lovable.dev, but I mean, it will now work on background. And right now you can see it has, I think, updated a readme file. It has just finished the first task. Now it is updating the a key feature section. So it is showing the both of the versions of this readme file. This is the old version. This is the updated version. So let's just wait for it to finish our writing all of the code. After a couple of minutes, it is still working on it. And right now you can see it has updated this readme file so far. It is working on its plan that it created. It is working on that step by step. 
but yeah i mean you can just like keep doing your work you don't need to like keep looking at it or just like see it working you can just like do something else and right now you can see the readme file has been progressively updated by the worker in the previous steps the old content has been effectively replaced by the new comprehensive document okay that's perfect still it is loading let me just open my readme file in here let me just so right now this is the current version so let me just click on reload and see if it is updated or not it is not updated yet okay there is no recent commit so publish okay fine so fine fine so I, i'll have to like once it will do all of the it will like make all of the changings after that i'll have to then review the changings and after that i can just like publish the changings so i can simply just click on this publish branch and now it can it will actually publish in our branch i see i can see a new commit and this commit was made just right now and even my deployment is also started on universal and right now you can see this readme file has been updated just now i can simply just open that and then i can see my readme file has been updated that is amazing and this was just like a very careful test for any further features now we can actually give it another command and ask it to like change any like further features so that's just amazing it can directly access your github account it will create a new branch as you can see in here it did not make these changings in that master branch it created a new branch and then it like started making changes in this new branch and that means your original code will not be affected in case if like messes up your code so your original branch will not be affected that's amazing so yeah just give it a try i think the main use case that i see for this kind of ai agents and something like tavern is let's suppose if you are working on a project and now you have like some minor task some maybe like a design task or some like maybe like some basic front end task or maybe some like minor fixes so you can assign those kind of tasks to this kind of agents and then you can just like keep working on your main project so these kind of agents just just like keep working on the back end and they can actually improve your productivity a lot i have tried that for some time and i really enjoyed that because it does work like your coworker or maybe like a junior developer but sometimes it does mess up your code but most of the times it does work so i think this is the right step by google to create something as professional and as big as devon or codex so yeah so far it looks amazing just go ahead and give it a try and let me know in comment section what you think about this tool i see you next video bye bye